go. We're now going to start the Sugarloaf Pipeline. Ready, set, go. Beautiful. This is, in, in every sense of the word, an historic day for our state. An historic day in terms of the future of our water supply, an historic day in terms of the jobs that have been generated constructing this project, the jobs that will be generated in the future through more water security for Melbourne and for our state. And it's a great day too for the environment because um, this is a project which is built off significant investment in water savings in our irrigation schemes, um, an investment which is going to produce not just a more viable dairy industry and horticultural industry into the future, but a significantly better environment right throughout northern Victoria as water savings are released back into the environment. And so in every sense of the word, in that triple bottom line, this project satisfies those criteria. Um, great in terms of the economy, great in terms of the environment, and can I say too, it's also been a great partnership. That is not to say, of course, that every Victorian has supported this project. There are some people who've had very strong views about it. But I believe the work of Melbourne Water, the work of the Alliance in working with the community and those grants have shown that it is possible to work with a community to deliver a project of the size and the scale uh, of this pipeline. Um, I want to say that in years to come, this project will be remembered as a time when our state faced great challenges and the people of Melbourne reached out to regional Victoria and said we can help you pay for a irrigation upgrade that you could not possibly have afforded if you'd been left to pay for it yourselves. And the people of regional Victoria reached back and said we will share the water savings, some of the water savings that are generated from that investment in recognition of the importance of water security for Melbourne. This is symbolically, as well as in its design features, a pipeline that flows both ways. It brings water, desperately needed water, to the people of Melbourne, but it also brings desperately needed investment to the irrigators of Northern Victoria who will use that investment to save water from a system that loses hundreds of billions of litres every, every year and that in itself is the biggest water savings project in Australian history and one of the biggest regional development projects that our state and our nation has ever seen and I think that's something that is profoundly important 